folks, this is Pastor Mike, and yes, my house did catch on fire. Um, Mon no, Tuesday morning at 1 o'clock a.m., um, Lindsay kept, was running through the house trying to wake everybody up saying, the house is on fire. The house is on fire. Well, that you immediately wake up when you hear that. And um, as soon as I did, you know, certain parts of your, when you go to sleep, certain parts of your brain wake up before other parts do. Your eyes wake up before your ears do. And so while I could see that there was smoke in the room, it took me uh, maybe a second or two to realize that the smoke alarms were going off in our house. I've been through this before in a hotel fire in um, New Jersey. When I was on tour with the... Um, singing group from the Oklahoma Bible College uh, that I went to. Uh, we were all, all of us four singers were in a room together and the um, PR director of the, of the uh, college called our room and I thought it was the wake up call. And I'm going, wake up call, ready? <laughs> what is this? And he's like, Michael, don't you hear the fire alarm? I said, what? He said, don't you hear the fire alarm? And then my mind caught a hold of the fire alarm. And I went, oh, the fire alarm's on. So anyway, it was no big deal. Um, but what happened with our house was the... Um, uh, the furnace was new with the house when we bought it. It's a modular, and um, so it's as old as the house is, 30 years old. And um, something, something with the connections on it um, started getting hot and hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter and I don't know if you've ever seen a, a double wide or seen how they're put together but when they bring they bring it out one half and set it up and then they have the other half that they bring out and they put it together and there is a like a fiberglass metal metal ring it's a windy ring um, surrounded by plastic that um, connects the heating ventilation air conditioning from the side that the HVAC unit is actually on to the vents on the other side of the modular house that they just that they just brought in so that's how the air gets delivered to the other side so uh, what's happened is whenever the um, whatever it was in the furnace that started heating up and getting hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. It caught that on fire. And I mean, smoke, there was smoke and it was, the smoke was growing by the, by the second is what was happening. Um, we immediately, Got everybody out. Everybody's out. We're fine. Um, 
then, and of course, they always tell you, don't go back in. Well, let's see. I don't have my keys. I better go get my keys. I don't have my wallet. I better go get my wallet. You start thinking of a, I don't see any fire. I don't see any fire in the house. It's because there, there really isn't a, you know, a flame fire, I don't suppose. We never saw one. Uh, here's, I'll show you a video of what the furnace looks like. And um, you can see that those connectors are all burnt and uh, something, something in that wiring um, got got burned up somehow, some way. We don't know. It's th again, it's thirty years old, just like the house. And um, then I'll show you one of the vents. Um, this is in Caleb's room, and. Um, his, his room was actually getting the worst of the fire because um, the that round fiberglass tubing that I told you about, it actually caught on fire and was burning to pieces. And so that's where the fire was coming out, the fire and the smoke was actually coming out on his side of the house, if that makes sense. We live on the back side, and our bedroom is on the back side. His room is on the front side. And so that's where all the, the, the fire and the smoke was going was going to the front side of the house. And so anyway, um, there is a, there's a lot of smoke damage. We don't know yet what's going to happen to our house. We have no idea. We've had, um, of course, the fire department, great job, great job, Hillsboro, DeSoto, Cedar Hill, fire departments, and whoever else responded that there was an ambulance. I think I saw pull up as the first one. Fortunately, we didn't need an ambulance, but it was great job. Hillsboro, DeSoto, Cedar Hill on getting out here fast as you can. We appreciate your service. Um, I take my hat off to you. And um, may God bless all you guys that work on the front lines of keeping people safe. Uh, because they made sure that we were safe. And um, so anyway, um, the firehouse... The, the fire department's been here. They're the one that showed me what they thought was wrong, which was followed up by a shelter. This is our insurance company, Shelter Insurance. Um, so a shelter agent came out the next day. He did an assessment, but he didn't, he didn't tell me much. Um... Let's see here. What else? Today, um, let's see. Yes, yesterday, I'm trying to think of what day it is. Yesterday, on Thor's day, the, um, uh, the company that does the, the cleanup, the fire cleanup, they came out yesterday to do an assessment of what needs to be clean. And then a guy came out today that uh, takes care of like drapes, 
he um, takes care of electronic equipment like my queen computer at home and uh, it's okay if they take it apart and clean it I just don't want them putting it back together I want to do that that's that's what I want to do okay so anyway um, we don't know yet we don't know yet if the house is is livable we're not at that point yet as you can see uh, we are in our motorhome which you know if God is God is an awesome God Wayne passed away September 2020 Jan goes out in in this RV that her and Jan, her and Wayne bought. She goes out one last time, decides it's not the same with him, and so she comes to me and wants to know if we want to if she can sell it to us. And um, she took a loss on it. Bless her heart. And um, so as it works out, we have a place to live. So I want to thank Jan. Uh, I want to thank Hillsboro Fire Department, DeSoto Fire Department, Cedar Hill Fire Department, um, whatever um, whatever ambulance this is down here. I want to thank them. I want to thank all of you for praying for us. We're all fine. Um, Lindsay and her children are staying at the, the church they're staying over there they are going to be safe and um hopefully before too and the dogs whatever. the dogs are fine but um it was nothing but the grace of God that we are alive today. By God's grace, we are alive. We are thankful that we have a place to live, that we have, um, we can wash some of the clothes that we have in the, in the house. Some of them are a complete loss. That's to be expected. So anyway, we have nobody but God to thank for everything that he's done. And we thank all you for your prayers, your support, your love. And um, I don't know how much work I'm going to get done the last few days. Um, so just bear with me and, uh, we'll see what we can get done. I appreciate you. I love you. May the Lord bless you. Uh, thank you for your prayers, your support. Um, don't forget the people of Kenya. Don't forget them. Okay. They are needing much more help than we do. The places that the people live over there are nowhere near what God has blessed us here. So anyway, God bless you. I love you.
and we will see you Sunday.